Well, hi everyone. I'm Robbie Itterberg. I'm pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Tom's River, and I've got to say that this is a totally new experience for me. I have never really posted on Facebook, and I certainly have never gone live before until right now. But we're certainly living in unprecedented times, and I felt really compelled to share with you, so I figured let's try something new together. You know, I'm sitting here at my house, as you're probably sitting at yours, and you know, we may be isolated and we may be distanced from one another physically, but I'm so grateful that we can still stay connected. You know, we're we're sitting here and we're waiting. You know, we're we're waiting to see what's gonna happen next, aren't we? We're waiting to see what's gonna come on the news and the newest developments. We're waiting we're waiting to see what the newest guidelines are going to be from our health officials that are just working ceaselessly, trying to figure out a, a way forward for us. We're waiting, maybe you're waiting at home trying to help your kids learn, figure out how to learn online. And that's an adventure that who knows how well that's going for you. It's certainly been an adventure for us. But we're waiting, waiting to see what the next closure is, what the next restriction is. And so we wait. And Psalm 33 actually talks about waiting, but maybe it talks about it from a little bit different angle than what we're experiencing right now. Psalm 33:20 actually says this, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. See, it says we don't just wait. We don't just hope. We actually, we wait in hope. It's an active waiting, an active hoping. This, this is faith. That's what's being described here. It's a faith and a trust that our Lord will help us and protect us. It doesn't mean that we won't face hardship. It doesn't mean that somehow we will get to avoid getting sick or avoid the trial. But it is a promise and we can trust as we wait that God will in fact help us and shield us. You know, one of the ways that we can actively wait is in prayer. And I know today is St. Patrick's Day, and for some of you, it's really disappointing that you can't be out celebrating. I'm not Irish, so I don't have that same problem. But I know for some, it's really disappointing. But there is something really significant and an incredible gift that Patrick left us as we think about actively waiting. It's a prayer. It's a prayer that it's often attributed to him. I don't know if we don't know if he actually wrote it, but but I want to pray it with you. I want to pray it for you. I want to pray for all of us. And I'm going to change all of the singular pronouns to plural so that we can really be praying with and for one another and well beyond. So will you pray with me as we wait in hope for the Lord? We arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of the wind, depth of the sea, stability of the earth, firmness of the rock. We arise today through God's strength to pilot us, God's might to uphold us, God's wisdom to guide us, God's eye to look before us, God's ear to hear us, God's word to speak for us, God's hand to guard us, God's way to lie before us, God's shield to protect us, God's hosts to save us afar and anear, alone or in a multitude. Christ, shield us today against wounding. Christ with us, Christ before us, Christ behind us, Christ in us, Christ beneath us, Christ above us, Christ on our right, Christ on our left, Christ when we lie down, Christ when we sit down, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of us, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of us. Christ in the eye that sees us. Christ in the ear that hears us. We arise today through the mighty strength of the Lord of creation. Amen. Well, friends, that's a prayer for you, a prayer for us. And if this is an encouraging word today in these times, I just would encourage you to share this. Somebody else might need to know and hear about waiting in hope for our Lord who will help us and shield us. We'll be in touch again soon, so stay posted.